Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and I wanted to get to a problem that most students really, really struggle with, difference when it involves negative numbers. So let's take a look. It says, what is the difference? Now, a lot of students know as soon as they see the word difference, they say, hey, Kate, I know what that is. That's a subtraction problem. Yep, absolutely. Differences subtract uh, with one specification. Uh, difference is always, always, always positive. So we're going to subtract and we're going to rig the system to make sure our answer is going to be positive. Okay. Um, and so it says, what is the difference between negative 3.3 and 0 0.9? Okay. So yeah, definitely a subtraction problem. I'm expecting a positive answer. Now, there's a couple of ways to guarantee that our answer is always positive. You know, we could make the no bigger number come first. This is how um, usually newbie mathematicians will do it. They'll just put the bigger number first. So be careful, though. Which one of these is bigger? Remember that positive numbers are always bigger than negative numbers. So I'm going to start with 0 0.9. It's actually bigger. And from that, I'm going to subtract. But careful. I'm not subtracting positive 3.3. I'm subtracting negative 3.3. So I need that second negative sign. Now, you might be freaking out. Kate, I don't know how to deal with that second negative sign. We'll deal with that in the next step. When you have two negatives in a row, you can think of it like the opposite of subtraction or the opposite of a negative number. The opposite of subtraction or the opposite of a negative number is positive and so, or plus. So those two negatives in a row turn into plus. So this is the same as 0 0.9 plus 3.3. And let's do this in our side work because if this came up on the GED, it'd be without a calculator. I need to make sure my place value lines up. So tenths with tenths. So let's say 3 tenths plus 9 tenths is 12 tenths. So I'll put a 2 in the tenths place and carry a 1 over there. And then adding that up, 1 plus 3 is 4. And I get 4 and 2 tenths, or 4.2. Great. Now you could also do this on a number line, because remember, the difference is the same as the distance between two numbers on a number line. So if you struggle with this mathematic minus minus thing, let me show you how this looks on a number line. Well, of course, uh, 0 0.9 is positive, so it's going to be over here on the right of 0. And negative 3.3 .3 is way back here on the back. And we can see that the distance between 0 and 0 0.9 is 0 0.9. And the distance between 0 and 3 point, or negative 3.3 .3 is just 3.3. .3. And if we need both of those pieces together to get all the way from here to there, we're going to have to add them up, 3.3 .3 plus 0 0.9, and again, we get 4.2 units. So it doesn't matter if you do it mathematically or you do it using a number line uh, conception, a number line model. We're going to get the same answer here. These two numbers are 4.2 units apart, not, not, not 2.4. I can't stress it enough. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop your questions in the comments and I will do my best to answer them.